Today I'm doing the Hurricane in and out mop. So I figured what a better place to start my intro with a completely unrelated in and out burger. So I'm gonna have some lunch and think about how I'm gonna review this in and out mop. So let's get started. All right, here's a quick overview of the in and out mop. First up, we have the microfiber pad on the mop head. They give you an extra pad as well. This is attached by Velcro. So easy to put on and take off. And here is the handle. I'll attach that right now. Over here is the wash tub. You might be able to see there's wash here and dry here. Here are the squeegees also labeled wash and dry. The two chambers, water goes in this side, nothing goes in that side. We'll see if this thing weighs without water in it. It is three pounds. A little fabuloso. Full of water, it is 18.2 pounds. All right, the Hurricane in and out mop is not the first Hurricane product that I've come across. We've got the Hurricane Spin Duster. The Hurricane Spin Scrubber. How about the Hurricane Spin Broom? Can this Hurricane in and out mop live up to the advertising hype? Let's find out. All right, before I start some of the cleaning tests, I want to try an absorbency test and compare it to a Nano Towel, which is a really absorbent cloth I reviewed late last year. So I'm going to try pouring half a cup of water on the floor and see how each one does. First up, let's do the Nano Towel. See if you can see that, all that water. Half a cup now, towel should have no problem with it. Okay, that did pretty well. It's all gone. Let's try another half a cup and see how the in and out mop does before I put it in the water. Okay, there we go. If you can see that. That was just a half a cup. And let's see how it does. Oh, it got almost all of it up. Now I'm actually, it's not pick up anymore. I was just kind of sliding around the residue. Pretty close. I think the nano towels won by a slight margin, but this is certainly respectable. Next up is the In-N-Out Mop versus In-N-Out Ketchup. Let's see how well it cleans off and how well it rings it off in the next test. Here we go, the In-N-Out Ketchup Packet. Well, that's not even that much. That should be easy. Let's spread it out a little bit. There we go. In and out versus in and out. Let's see who wins. Okay, so here's how we're supposed to use it. We take the microfiber pad and we shove it in there. First time you're doing it, you're just getting the soapy water on there, so that's good. And then you're just going to wring it out in here. And the water comes back in. It's great when the water's clean. How about when the water's dirty? Boom, first time through, nice. Oh, but look at this, nasty. Smells like ketchup in here. Now what we're supposed to do is put it in here to clean this off. That's kinda, that's kinda gross. They say the more times you put it through there, the cleaner it's gonna get. And I want it to be pretty clean. That looks pretty clean. Now for the drying section and they have their waterfall technology where all the dirty water goes back in. So really the point of this chamber is to stay dry while you're sticking this in there. 
and the squeegee will direct the water into the waterfall back into the wet chamber. Not to mention that all that dirty water just went back in there, which some people may not like. All right, let's try this in and out mop again. How about a little bit of wine? A little bit of vino for you. Oh, it just even splattered a little bit. Oh, oh no, there's a mess on the floor. Good thing I have my Hurricane in and out mop I can pick that up real quick with. Gonna get the soapy water on there. I'm going to wring it out. Not too bad, really. From that reflection, you can see it's not completely dry, but it is picking up the stuff that it's supposed to be picking up. And there's the wine on there. Let's get that out. The mop handle doesn't go all the way down this way. You have to turn around and go that way. Okay, we're gonna wring this out. Yeah, it's working, it's getting it out. What if I dry this a lot? That's right. Okay, that should be pretty dry now. See if I can get the rest of that liquid up. Somewhat. I guess it's just like mopping any other floor. You're gonna have a little bit of residue left behind dry on its own. So far, I think it's working pretty well. They said that this is good for pet hair and I got a lot of pet hair. Let me go to a different area where I can find some pet hair on the ground, pick a bunch of that up and see how it cleans off. And when I say pet hair, you know what that means. Who's coming up next? Bailey, you wanna contribute some pet hair? That's my purple mattress, which I'm going to be reviewing as well. Oh, here's a bug assault. Have you seen this one? It's a gun that shoots salt at bugs. I'm also working on that one for later this summer. Purple mattress point three. That's going to be coming up later this summer. I want Bailey to contribute some pet hair, but she's just too excited to see me. I'll get some pet hair out in the hallway then because Bailey's a little bit crazy right now. All right, this hallway never gets any love as far as the cleaning goes. And my old dog, Daisy, usually sleeps right here. So she's always got chunks of hair laying around. Like, look at that. Now, normally I wouldn't sweep that up. I'd just pick it up. But for demonstration purposes, let's go along this baseboard where there's a lot of dog hair and see how well it does and how well it cleans it off in the in and out mop. Let's do it. Step one. Step two. I guess we would do it this way on the baseboard, wouldn't we? There we go. Well, the hair kind of fell off. Let's see what we got on, the, on here. I want the dog hair. I like how it kind of snaps up. See that? It just kind of snaps into place so it's ready to go. I actually like that feature. Well, this chunk of pet hair is not cooperating with my demonstration here. So I'm not really getting any pet hair on there. It's not really picking that up. I don't know. It is kind of kicking some of this pet hair around and not picking it up, which is always a problem with mopping for me. They also say you can use it for baseboards. Let's try that. That works. That kind of works. I have a product I reviewed a long time ago called Baseboard Buddy, which does the same kind of thing as that. In fact, it was kind of advertised the same, similar as this, but it doesn't, it doesn't have the in and out feature. It is good for picking up spills and it is good for uh, removing scuffs and other marks on the floor. So it's doing pretty good. I'm going to do my entire kitchen floor and see how well it does. Let's try it out. Cue the fast motion. And back. All right, well, here's my thoughts. This wasn't a huge project, but it certainly worked well. I'm pretty happy with it. If you can see, it's, it's pretty clean. Now, does it outperform a Swiffer like this, which I always use? I don't know if it does or not, but you don't really have to touch it and take the padding off on this one. Might be kind of a difference in opinion about which one is better. Let's try a little bit more Vino on the ground here. Oops more than I wanted to do. 
Now we have something like this standard Swiffer here. Let's try that. Okay, Swiffer's working well. Swiffer picked it up. Here's the thing though, the Swiffer, not nearly as absorbent. Not as absorbent and that's not gonna come off until you throw this away. So even though I like my Swiffer, I use it all the time, I'm not sure it's a superior idea than the In-N-Out Mop. So is the In-N-Out Mop better than the Swiffer? The Swiffer, you're not gonna be able to wring it out and keep going. You're gonna have to toss this at some point. In-N-Out Mop, you can keep going. So it really, I think the advantage is to the In-N-Out Mop. All right, so after using the In-N-Out Mop, here are some of my thoughts. I think it works really well. I like the fact that it cleans off all the debris and all the stains pretty easily and it does dry it and you can kind of just select how dry you want it to be by how many times you run it through there. I like all that. The mop itself does a really good job. It's very absorbent, almost absorbent as the nano towels. So I'm pretty happy about that. It doesn't work quite as well on pet hair, but that's a minor complaint. I think it's actually a really good mop. Now one thing I would change about it is I would make this a three chamber design. I'd have one chamber for the dirty water that you can rinse it off in and then when you wring it out, the dirty water goes in there. And then a third chamber for, you could, for clean water so you could put clean water on your floor. That's the only change I would make. I picked up the Bed Bath & Beyond. I got a coupon, so I got for $32.46 with tax. But normally it is $39.99. To me, it's a bit on the pricey side. I think it should be about $29.99. So overall, I think it's a pretty good product. If you're going to compare the In-N-Out Mop to the Swiffer, you can see that the In-N-Out Mop has a bigger mop head. With the Swiffer, you don't have to worry about filling up a bucket of water. You just kind of throw the pad on there and go and then toss it when you're done. This one, you have to fill up with water and then dump it out when you're done. But on the other hand, this one, you can actually rinse the pad off as you go. So you can keep going a lot longer, I think, than you can with the Swiffer. That eventually gets dirty and has to be taken off and thrown away. It's definitely gonna be a matter of personal preference. I'd be curious what you guys think which one is better between the Swiffer and the Hurricane In-N-Out Mop. My question was if you could put the Swiffer pad on the In-N-Out Mop, but as you can see, they're not the same size. It's significantly wider, so I don't think that would really work. Plus, the Swiffer needs to be held in place. There's no one really to hold those pads in place. I don't think that was gonna work at all. Okay, now that I'm done with it, I gotta empty it out. There's two ways to empty it out. You could just dump it out, which I'll probably do, or they also have these plugs at the bottom where you could drain the water out. I also want to see how much liquid is on the dry side. Uh, not really much. I see a few drops in the bottom. That's about it. So next up, I want to take the pad and put it in the wash machine and see how it holds up in there and how it works after going through the cycle. Let's try that out. I will say that even though I'm putting this through the wash machine, it really doesn't need to be washed. It's actually in pretty good shape. So the wash machine really is just for demonstration purposes right now. I will see. All right, the pad is out of the washer. I didn't put it in the dryer because the directions did not state to put it in the dryer, so I just let it dry out on its own. It seems no worse for the wear. Let's stick it back on here and see how it works. Something to keep in mind is these hooks hook over these. If you don't do that, it'll not go in properly. All right. Okay, after we're going through the washer and sitting out overnight, it seems like it's just as it was yesterday, so I think it worked out pretty well. Two more things I was gonna point out. Number one is it doesn't have wheels, which is I was thinking, well, because it's you know 18 pounds with water in it, you're gonna wanna be able to lug it around easier, but with wheels, when you're pulling it in and out of there, it could tip over easier, so I think the wheels would not be a good thing. Number two is you have to fill up the fill mark because if you don't fill it up all the way, it's not gonna get completely submerged. So you have to have it all the way full. So you have to have it at the full 18 pounds. So if carrying 18 pounds is difficult for you, this might be something that's gonna be hard for you to lug around the house. So this video started with me eating an In-N-Out burger, talking about the In-N-Out Mop, which seemed pretty appropriate. I'm not eating a burger today, but I think that the In-N-Out Mop outperformed what I actually expected from it when I first opened the box. So I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I just wish there was perhaps maybe a third chamber with clean water so you could clean it off, wring it off, and then put clean water in there and go on your floor. I think the price is a bit high, but overall it performed better than I expected and that's all you can really ask for. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do post an update video of every product I review, usually four to six months later in groups of 10. So I will continue to use the Hurricane In-N-Out Mop and down the road I'll give you an update of how it's held up over time. 
I'm curious how you think the in and out mop will work. Have you used it or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles where I post progress pictures, videos, and occasionally updates of older products as I go. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.